Good morning, afternoon, or evening, dear viewers. Thank you for tuning in again. You might be wondering, this um, lovely Sunday morning, I guess it's February 27th or 28th or whatever it is, um, you might be wondering, what's up with all the get-up? What's up with the sombrero, Harry? Uh, well, it's been dr drizzling steadily since last night, so the sombrero helps significantly in terms of a little rain shield, if you know what I mean. In any, in any case, going up to the North 40, and um, just going to shave, shave off some, some soil. Um, from the from the path here, and then I'm gonna head into the village uh, just to take a walk. Hopefully, hopefully see some of my neighbors, and um, my sugarcane uh, my sugarcane plantation hasn't been producing too well in the last couple of months. I gotta, I gotta redo, I gotta redo a part of it. So basically, I'm gonna go into the village to see if anybody's got any, uh, any sugar. I'm gonna get like a, I don't know, half a kilo or something, like a pound of sugar. I need my sugar. Well, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful morning, uh, as you, as you may see. Apart from the few drizzles, drizzles, but it ain't nothing old Jungle Harry can hand, can't handle. You know what I mean? I got my trusty Chicago Blackhawks um, long sleeve because it's uh, it's like 72, 74 degrees right now. But it, you know, for me that's chilly. <laughs> That is chilly for me, my friends. For you, it might not be. But yeah, basically, over here yesterday, I cultivated all of this beautiful patch. And I'm just going to continue. I'm going to continue down, 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 down. Because every month, I've, I've basically been, been just uh, cultivating with the machete uh, in what, what the existing path is. Uh, let me take you down here, and basically, um, you know, it's real, it's real thick and stuff because no one, no one's, uh, you know, in the last three, three and a half years, um, no one's really put the old shovel, the old shovel to the to the soil, and what I do is I shave off about an inch, inch and a half off the top. And then it just makes cultivating the rest of it, uh, you know, like every couple of weeks, ma makes it real nice and easy then. Because, you know, with a machete, to get through this stuff, uh, I mean, this is real thick, sort of uh, grass, um, weeds, if you, if you will, you know. But, you know, some areas like this patch here, it stays relatively clean because there's a lot of there's a lot there's a, there's a, there's a lot of canopy here and so the, the the sun doesn't get in get in too much but basically from back there where we started this way up until up to this post this is where my land is it's about a hundred and 20 yards about a football field see where this post is here this is the the post marker and that marks uh where my land uh ends here and i got a nice little path here to get back into get back into my kitchen so whenever i'm coming down from that way from santa maria 
what I sometimes do is I take a little uh, a little little shortcut through here instead of you know walking down down the hill here and then sort of uh, you know triangular uh, uh, way so I just cut cut through um, but anyways I'm gonna I'm gonna shave off a little bit I'll let you guys see how it's done in a minute and um, and basically, yeah, I'm gonna walk down to the village. So I'll I'll catch you guys. I'll catch you guys in a rebound, as they say. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. But let's see if we can find anything interesting for you guys to see. Um, I took a look at my kasho tree back there yesterday. This year it didn't produce. And I've noticed, like, kind of does every, every, you know, every other year. So, kasho, kasho is like sort of a, a really juicy, juicy, juicy apple. Um, but it's soft, like, uh, I don't know, like a tomato. Yeah, it's soft like a tomato. It's really, really juicy. I mean, it's all, it's all juice. They're really great, actually, to make a, a nice little uh, Kool-Aid lemonade kind of thing. Um, you know, so. But yeah, I've noticed uh, quite a few of the trees don't produce like year on year. You got to give it, you know, you got to get, let, I, I guess, they natural. Because I, I don't spray with anything. I don't spray with any chemicals. Uh, everything is purely organic, man. Just the sun, the rain, and that's it. I don't, you know, if, if I have to clean the insects and the bugs, I do it by hand. You know, I, I take a machete. And if I see a, a you know termite nest forming or any other sort of uh, bugs or insect in, infestations, I just chop them out. You know, I just kind of do it by hand. I don't spray, so it is purely organic. So I guess maybe the trees have a way of um, you know naturally sort of giving giving itself a break every other year, um, you know, to to recuperate its its juices and stuff. So I don't know. But in any, ca in any case, uh, I'm going to try to put my phone over here. But you guys aren't, aren't going to see nothing. You ain't going to see nothing. So let's see if we can. Um, well, in any case, I'll probably catch you guys uh, in the next episode. And I'll show you the results of what I've done here. I'm going to... I'm going to try to iron out this little, little, little patch, you know, little by little every day. It's, it's, you know, pretty back breaking work. That's why I kind of come out here at like six, six, six in the morning, six thirty, And, you know, before it gets really hot. So you kind of have like an hour or two, uh, to work in a, in a, in a relatively cool environment, like 72, 74. Once it starts getting up to like 80, 82, Forget it, you know, in the sun. Forget it, you know, forget it. Forget about it, Danny. Well, in, in any case, I'll catch you guys. I'll get you guys, in, uh, get you guys in a bit. All right, take care. Bye for now. Hasta la chao, chao. Bye for now.